Hello. Hey, Elijah. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Ed, how has your week been? Um, pretty mellow. I did a uh, human design uh, reading for a Gino sister yesterday. Ah. And she was a paying customer. And she, ah. Yeah. So that was cool. Very nice. Yeah. And I got to do one with a little more depth because she had already had an uh, initial reading, I guess, a few years back. So it was more enjoyable to do a, you know, to go a little deeper with her. Not quite as deep as I went with you, but um, because I also used a specific format that they use in human design called the four transformations. Um, anyway, so that was that's about it so far this week. Other than that, other than full time work. Um, what about you? Hey, uh, lots, lots of stuff. Um, <laughs> you always got lots of stuff though, yeah? Yeah. Each week is pretty, pretty unique in, it, in the last few, few months. So, uh -huh. how would you like to use the time today? I, uh, how would you like to use the time today? Well, I, I think I was, I was more, you know, you've been giving to me a lot. I was thinking, you know, I could give to you, um, Sure. What? Okay. I was just Let's wondering how how we could use it to help you in, in some way. Um. Well, you uh, knowing me as much as you do so far, what would you? What do you have any hits about what you would want to share with me? Okay. That might might be, um, you know. I don't know. Okay, well, well, maybe I could sort of take you through a bit of a, a needs analysis from the point of view of the School of Conscious Communication in regards to you being an originator. Yeah, that's what I thought. That was what was in my mind. I just wanted to see if you would say the same thing. We always seem to be in sync, so. Okay. That seems to be an amazing quality of our connection. So. Yeah. Some things seem kind of obvious, I guess, as, as next steps. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, so I, I would say that if we spent the time with me uh, understanding, you know, what you want, uh -huh. you know, what you want uh -huh. to build, you know, how, how if you could design your ideal uh, lunar calendar, what would it look like? Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. That would be, I guess, a good start. Okay. So you're, you're telling me to describe what a month might look like for me, more or less? Yeah, like I, I just, I just, I got my pet, let me just get my, uh, a bit of a ruler. Um, just wait one sec. Yeah, like, I mean, I, you know, it, it would be a great pleasure for me to uh, assist you to design exactly what you want and to help you move from where you are to where you want to go. Right. Well, I, I have this um, pretty simple picture. It's like four hours a day, five days a week, hundred bucks an hour, two thousand bucks a week, eight thousand bucks a month. That would be way. That'd be plenty to survive on. Uh, <coughs> so my wife and I, and live wherever we want. <coughs> and um, okay, I, that, I have this this uh, <coughs> this map that's basically thirteen cycles of twenty eight days. Uh huh. And it moves through this cycle of personal space, one-on-one -on -one space, mm -hmm. space and group space, and it just keeps on cycling. And so for us, as a shared knowledge community, it's uh -huh. like what we're doing is we're, we're using that as this framework. Uh -huh. And it's kind of like in the personal space, it's kind of like we all need time where that's our week. It's just us. It's our personal space, and you're sort of going, you know, what do you want? I mean, you can still bring in the other spaces, but maybe you go one week in the cycle, you go, I'm gone. I'm done uh -huh. my work and I'm just doing whatever I want to do. Uh -huh. And then the next week is one-on-one -on -one space. So you're doing more one-on-one -on -one clients or, you know, whatever the one-on-ones. I mean, you can bring all the four spaces into each week, but there's like a primary thing happening. Uh -huh. So that, yeah. that way we can all <sighs> in terms of the 
would we all come together as a community or we all come together as a team kind of thing. Right. So, <clears throat> well, and based on all that, um, yeah, I mean, that's interesting way to look at it because um, Gino's also spoken to me about te doing a teaching space and alt space and, and building that for me. And it hasn't got very far yet, but um, I guess the further we go down the road, him and I seem to be connecting more and he's uh, seems very supportive of what I'm doing. And that, that could be a kind of group space thing where I would do that. So that could be uh, once, maybe uh, eventually twice a week where I'm spending time in alt space. <clears throat> and then, um, you know, personal space will work its own way out because if I only do a total of four hours a day, I'm gonna have plenty of time to be in my own space and do other things. Um, and well, and spend just, time. Huh? Had like four, so the 101 was like four hours a day well, you could, I could, let's say four hours a day, right? And it might even change more, but I'm thinking Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, like to be available four hours a day for one-on-ones. So that'd be 12 hours a week of that. And then, and then Tuesdays and Thursdays, the alt space to do group, you know, like to do knowledge um, seminars or trainings or whatever, where I work more with the, um, the life codes and that kind of thing. Um, so and then you but you also said like collective space well there yeah there's community space a community space now how does that work out how how do you do what do you how do you work with that what do you do well, that's with that? kind of like you know like the whole community coming together or it's it's a, it's like community space is kind of like you might be giving a broadcast to the whole community oh okay he's coming together to do something so more more like the things you talked about where um, I would just create teachings and then make them available to a whole bunch of people and they would, is that what you, you mean by no, that? No, well. But I see you mean more like a live broadcast to a lot of people, live stream or whatever. Yeah. I think like, I mean, there's a lot of different types I think of community space. I think it's, um, okay, let me just, let me, so Tuesdays and Thursdays, you had group space. Yeah, that would be like, yeah, alt space, um, classes, teaching kind of stuff. Okay, so like kind of like uh, like 9 to 12 in the morning, like how long How long did they, did they last? Oh, uh, well, I want to do four hours, so it'd be like 9 to 1 with a break in the middle, I guess. That'd be fine. So 9 to 1, t Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh-huh that's to your group space so that team training yeah and the the total um space for the one-on-ones would be probably nine to two so i have a little bit of time in between each hour so i would just i would figure out how to do that or i just do the sessions 55 minutes that's close enough to an hour <laughs> but ha have a total space of like nine to two for the one-on-ones and nine to one for the classes which would be more continuous style format than one-on-ones which are usually an hour but they could you know they could go up to two hours depending on the kind of reading it is okay so monday wednesday friday you have four four hours so it's like four one-on-ones yeah but the space is from nine to two so in that time to do four hours but it's five hours space to do that in Okay. So, so I could have maybe a little half hour break in midway in that or something if I, you know, whatever. Okay. Yeah. And um, so it's like you're, you're seeing four people per in that time slot. Yeah. Or, or if it's longer readings, it could, you know, whatever equals all told four hours. Okay. And, and you're, and that's like at a hundred dollars an hour, you want more or. No, it's at a hundred an hour unless I, uh, because I, I, until I get people that have done a few readings, I'm not going to be able to offer things that go so much deeper and, and price goes up to, it could go up to like 250 an hour for really deep readings, you know, but that, that wouldn't come until after I had already done. So what's so, it? Okay. Yeah. Um, and then Tuesdays and Thursdays, it's nine to one, but they're team things. <coughs> Is this? Yeah. The same team like what how do you envision the, the well it depends on how many classes i could start doing um in alt space or um, any kind of teaching space where you know it's groups of people that come in and 
I take them th through whatever learning process. So, you know. Have you set up a curriculum yet? No, I haven't. I haven't. I'm just starting to think about it now because I'm just, it's just starting to uh, make sense to me. And I'm kind of also, as I'm doing all these meetings, looking at where the demand is, what, what kind of interest people have. Mm. And, and and also it's so limited by my time right now where I wish I could explore uh, with my time more avenues but right now it's <clears throat> the things I've done all for free of course have been one-on-ones and and group space stuff right you know where I take people through processes like I do my weekly process uh, I used to do it in somebody else's zoom I would do one or two hour sessions with there and I've also you know I do it in our Thursday thing too so those are the kind of things I've uh, so far I've, um, you know done right and those well those are like the prototypes for what I eventually want to do with one-on-ones and um, which I'm already doing I, I, I mean I've done readings for people in human design over the years but never really got into it and focused on it like I want to do now and start making something happen at it but doesn't you know again it doesn't have to just be human design it can also be gene keys it could be life codes it can be angelic tables it depends okay. on you got so you know. yeah um, but but it should um, ask the question just to, what type of people do you want to be teaching well it's got to be people who have a bent toward um you know awakening and that kind of thing there must be some sort of natural draw in that direction although if somebody just wants knowledge you know, in the teaching sessions or just wants to know about themselves. They don't um, have to have any special kind of, you know, qualifications. As long as they're interested in self-discovery, that's pretty much enough. Okay. Um, now, these one-on-ones, are, are these like, are they going to be the same people week after week or it's all first contacts? Well, you see, that's the thing is, is um, it's probably in the beginning going to, the idea would be to, um, have a lot of first contacts uh, but but until uh, I establish um, you know I could set up a curriculum where the first meeting I do with a person is a very like uh, what's called a basic reading in human design where people basically look at their conditioning and that can go through then a foundation reading then a four transformations reading and then um, maybe even one more deeper reading. And then I could, and then from there, once they have a knowledge of their human design, I could then start to offer the segments of the gene keys and, and, and show people how I work with that. And then once they've gone through that, then start to, to, to offer them maybe life code training, which is the kind of stuff I'm doing weekly already to get people really familiar. It you know, depends on how deep they want to go because there can be steps to go deeper and deeper and learn more and more. Um, yeah, and then after life codes, uh, we could, you know, then I could conceivably, if people get that far and I'm doing, um, classes with people, we can start to work sacred geometry and start to work with angelic tables and that kind of thing. You need a group to do the end. Well, unless it's a person like you or somebody that I know is sufficiently deep in, um, you know, the awakening process, but otherwise it usually takes a group of people. So you see there's going to be like several stages because I want people to become very familiar with the territory that I work with and fluent with the kind of terminology I use. Yeah. So that by the time we step in deeper, you know, they'll have a way to ground it too right. into their genetics, which is very important to have a, have a thorough grounding in your genetics. So when you start to bring in the higher um, uh, luminous, intelligence kind of transmissions that it has a place to just literally coil into your DNA, you could say, because that's been activated by the prior or previous readings. So I'm just kind of making this up right now as we're doing it. Although I have this structure, I've just, just, it's, I like what you're doing because it's, it's kind of coaxing me to kind of lay it out now. So, I mean, it's all there. I just haven't put it into a schedule format yet. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, you've just got so many, you know, so many valuable things. I mean, you, you, you know, you're going to have to have to have a real detailed curriculum at some point for how you're going to take people through the process of what you want. Right, doing. right. Um, I guess I got another question in terms of, you know, because to me, there's a, 
there's almost like billions of people that would <laughs> that should go through what you offer. Yeah. I'm wondering, I guess I, I'm wondering one thing is like, how closely do you want to work with me kind of like personally? What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, it's, it's like some people, they, they want, let's say if they're a teacher or that, you know, they're, they're setting up a school, let's say, mm -hmm. and if you on your own are a master and you, mm -hmm. you know, by yourself on your own can do all of this kind of stuff. Right. Uh -huh. And you don't need anybody's help and you you, you have a, a teacher's kind of thing. Sure. As far as the material itself. Yeah. So when I say that, it, it's just like, because I'm looking at setting up this kind of planetary new paradigm, um, I mean, what, what I see in you is like highly, highly, highly valuable person who can transform people's lives, right? So uh -huh. um, I would, you know, to me, you're like the gem. The, the gem of the gem and if mm -hmm. they get to you they are very very lucky mm -hmm. so i would want like you know if there's seven billion you don't want seven you know, like they have to almost qualify to get to you to be your student uh -huh. you know, yeah at some point you only have so much time you only have so many students and you want people that are like you know, really yeah. to learn and yeah sure after down the road when that is merited sure i have to earn that though for sure. Yeah. Even if I have it already, I still have to earn it by doing the, you know, the teaching work. <laughs> I have to do all that. Well, well I, I don't think that you have to earn it. I think they have to earn it. Or I, I, I just mean that, I, I guess it's sort of like, like for planetary guardians, like to me, you're like a, you know, a very high, 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 high teacher and uh -huh. people, I guess it, it's just that I have this sort of idea of 144,000 planetary guardians coming together to create this new media sort of system mm -hmm. across the planet. So I, I yeah. have a design, defined plan of what to do. Yeah. And people either agree or believe or whatever it is in that, or they have they don't care about it at all, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. There's a spectrum in between that. And uh -huh. I think because of what we're doing, uh -huh. There's a much, there's a here to do some very big work. And if we're going to teach people, they have to have, you know, you just don't want to teach anyone. You want to teach people that are leveraged in a position to use that. So they, okay. can do yeah, they're, yeah. well, let me cut to the chase for you because, um, and I'll pull this out and then we'll see where it goes from there. But I am willing to, use you as the prototype of whatever um and it may not be in the order i actually do it with people that come right fresh off the street because with you we're kind of you know we've already done a pretty deep human design we've already done the gene keys we've already done it in a group scenario we've done a lot of different things already and i'd be perfectly willing with you to unravel the whole array of, of what i do as 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 insofar as it is possible um in this format, but then at some point, I'll, you know, you'll need to start doing something that gives results for me so I can make some money, <laughs> sure. you know, because then if through that somehow and your influence, all of a sudden people are saying, oh, Elijah, you know, said, come do a reading with you or this or that and that kind of stuff. Because I, I have no problem exchanging with you as we already have that kind of agreement anyway, we want to do exchange. So, um, well, well let, let me just so, say quickly, like, I mean, in my mind, like whatever we structure it, to me, it would be, it would be my, I would go fill that. Like, like to, uh -huh. to me, I'm whatever you want, I will go fill. Uh -huh. But don't you, yeah, but you also need to have, do you have enough? I don't know that you have enough familiarity yet with the total scope of what I do. No, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that I do. Uh, no, and well, what I'm saying is I would prefer that you did in order to accurately convey uh, through your aura um, so that people actually get the veracity of what you're saying instead of just a sales pitch. Gotcha. 
Yeah. I mean, one, one thing I wanted to say, like on the third, I wish I was coming to the Thursdays, but I find nearly every, like, because my weeks are so packed, by the time that Thursday comes, I'm, I'm sort of overdone. Well, everybody seems to be by that point. Even Lucy's dropped off the last couple of times. And um, luckily, Denise keeps showing up because she wants to learn all 64. So even if I change out of that format, because eventually I think that should be a paid for class because I don't think people realize what they're getting out of that. Oh, and sure. the work I put into it, and, and I, I, create a, I create the writing for each one every week. It takes me hours to do that and to go into kind of a deep contemplation to pull out the essence of it, you know, in a, in a modern context so that it's very contemporary to what's happening. And uh, that in itself, take, and then the, how I have to send it out and put it everywhere. It's, you know, that's several hours of my time every week. And then these people just show up and there's very few people showing up at this point. And, and I think eventually that context of, you know, and I changed it from synergy to Zenergy. I created a new word, Zenergy. Zenergy, I like that. I love, I love that word. And I even changed it on the LCL um, website to where it says Gift Synergy. I, I changed it to Gift, gift Zenergizer. I, I want to, I want, and so that's what I call it now on uh, the Facebook page is, is, it's not Vegan Synergy Meditations. It's just Vegan, vegan Zenergy good enough because I want the energy of Zen which is truly conveys what I'm about because I've literally been through even if even if it wasn't a, a traditional Zen school it was a modern Zen training for me and the way I took in what I received from my master um, enlightened master so um, so I, that was fun to do but I think eventually it's gonna find I, I mean originally when you had spoken about um, doing courses and having people pay a monthly fee and stuff, that's kind of where I see that eventually going. You know, and I could just, like you say, I could get on and just read through my script and then talk about it a bit and give some exercises and that kind of thing. I don't even necessarily need people because it seems hard for people to show up anyway. And eventually, ultimately, I want the quality of people I attract in a group Zoom to be like the quality of people we encounter in our Thursday meetings. Yeah. I want I want really brilliant, brilliant cutting edge people because because uh, those are the kind of people I can um, work with in really um, really nice ways. And I don't want to wait. I'm slowly, slowly starting to get tired of wasting my time with people who kind of take it all for granted and have no idea what what they're getting. Um, and I know that, and I don't talk about it a whole lot because I'm not, I don't have a big ego about it. It's not a big deal, but it, but it is good to know what you have and, and the value of it. So eventually it'll slowly transition out of that, that, uh, vegan synergies, the space it's in right now, where I, where I do it, like you came to that meeting, that kind of thing. Cause you know, it needs to be in a much bigger audience. Very, very because I, I believe there's a lot of people that would have interest in it if it was in the right kind of audience. Because people that have had enough experience with human design and gene keys to come and sit in what I do, with life codes, I think, and life codes, love codes, light codes, animal nature, human nature, angelic nature, I think would really, um, really appreciate something like that. And I think they wouldn't mind paying a hundred bucks a month, you know, $25 a session to get these lessons Sure. Um, you know, cause that, so that one hasn't left my mind at all. I just needed to see that. What do I have that can transition there? And since I've been doing it religiously for every week now, um, se you know, several hours a week for, for, um, many, many, many months now that one is polished. So that, that at some point will transition. Um, and I think, um, in the beginning to maybe create a base out of one-on-one -on -one readings and get people familiar with what I do. Um, and I also want you to be able to talk about what I do too, because you've experienced it all and just use your intelligence to express it the way you do, which is fine. However you do that, cause you're, you're pretty brilliant. So it doesn't matter. You, however you come across with it, it's going to impact people. I'm sure in, in, a, in the right way. So there, there's a little bit more detail to kind yeah. of how I'd like to see it. As we talk more, it starts to fill itself in for me. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, you know, as an originator myself, I, I feel that I have the ability to recognize value in other originators, and that's yeah. what I see in you. Uh -huh. Going through what I've gone through, I, I know, you know, I, I think I can assess your situation uh -huh. to some degree better, sure. better than most. Sure. And 
the you know to the global audience you need like you know full infrastructure support and full marketing support and that's what the shared knowledge community is about right like the whole idea about the shared knowledge community is originators get the they sit in the gold chair kind of right because you did the work you put the time in you have the value and you get what you want and oh it's good it's good to know what you mean by originator that fills it in a little more for me good yeah and so it makes so, more sense and it, it does it does resonate so. yeah more so than probably any other one yeah and and to me the originators are you know again because i consider myself an originator that you know i know the depth and value of what i've created and yeah oh yeah whether other people understand it or not it doesn't yeah. matter i know yeah and, and I find with a lot of originators, they seem to be in positions where they, they are not. The people around them do not know who they are. Well, we're shifted paradigms, so that's understandable. Yeah. So, so, you know, to me, when we get, you know, in the first shared knowledge community, because I see you within, if there's a first shared knowledge community, you're in it. Like, we're building one, and then we're looking to build other ones, right? So, I mean, my... I, I believe we're building, right, this structure to build all the structures that is going to transform our whole species. So, I mean, I, I don't see you as a person who's just teaching your work to a bunch of students. I see you as like, a, like one of the main teachers on the planet. Well, what I, um, yeah, and, and in that sense, as, as, as much as I feel honored to be part of what you're creating, I also want to stand always in my own space too, as a, what I call Zorba the Buddha School for Centering lineage, lineage, which is what I now say is the essence of the essence of the essence of what I do. Zorba the Buddha School for Centering. And I take it from being made the director of the Osho Zen School uh, uh, for Centering of Osho Zen Martial Arts, uh, like uh, two weeks before Osho left this world, and I never, and I always got that no matter if that changed hands or not in terms of the organization, the essence of it is with me. But it's transformed now, and I take that term Zorba the Buddha, which Osho created, but I love that term. But I just, and instead of calling it anything to do with martial arts, that's just my trip I do with me. It's not something I'm really interested in teaching others. Unless there's a sincere desire from somebody, then I'll usually do a very private one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you know, kind of teaching, which is the way I pretty much taught my martial arts, because they're very deep, and I need people that can, you know, most people don't even, can't even get close to that kind of discipline. And the ones that do, they do it all the way through. I always seem to pick the right ones when it happens. But anyway, so now I just call it Zorba the Buddha School for Centering. That is, my, that's my lineage transmission. That's what I'm here to give to the planet in terms of my, my deepest essence and being. That's what I feel good about. So that's always going to stand in its own pristine space as I'm just, that's just who I am. And anything I participate in or whatever is a secondary um, facilitative as, associate assistive process, including what you do, including what I do with my human design and all those other things. Yeah, and, those, and those, I, and I agree. And, 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 and the, again, the idea of the shared knowledge community is having an infrastructure that can, let's say, be have you, an autonomous entity that is running you know, what you want Mm -hmm. but still providing the infotech and the marketing to assist mm -hmm. you right larger infrastructure but still giving you autonomy where like i don't have a say or control or the shared knowledge community doesn't have a say or control over how you run your school uh -huh. you're still an originator within the uh -huh. community yeah yeah but yeah originators because we're all again at some point we're just one human being mm -hmm. and if you if you want to set up the school and run it the way you want but I can give you like I'm hoping to give you here's the infrastructure yeah right well, right stuff. well and, and in return I'll always be open to sharing uh, the depths and levels and, and spread and spectrum of everything I have with and until I feel you get to a point where you don't where you're full with that and you don't need that anymore and then we can discuss a new way of exchanging if that's even necessary at that point or even relevant at that point well, and again, you know, the the idea of shared knowledge community is that, you know, within that container, there's like sort of community level products. There's a little product. Me and you may go, hey, why do we do this? We, we pop something in and we both put our, our minds together for a week or a day. And, 
mm. an app is built and you get a percentage and everyone gets a percentage and the shared knowledge community gets a percentage. Right. Yeah, that, those, yeah, those are good marketing things. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. kind of like, just, ha just have to iron out the details of that when they actually occur. <laughs> so everybody knows what they're getting into and what right. they get out of it. So it's like, a, it's a transparent open book accounting system, but you know, one person can have an idea, the product team's created, boom, it goes to the world and it doesn't go into a little distribution, it goes into this global distribution, so. Right, and so this would be the community level of stuff, which could be, you know, in that, in that needs assessment, that could, I could take one of the days of the three days of my one-on-ones and, and commit to that, but then I don't want to lose, I don't know, how through that I would earn any income, you know what I'm saying? So that may, that might have to be four hours late on top of across all the other stuff that's already going, maybe one hour a day or one day a week for a couple hours or whatever, to where I commit to, to the community uh, thing, which is probably not going to be an earning thing unless it's set up that way for me to do it like that as Zorba the Buddhist School for Centering Transmission Work or something of a very specific kind, because I also was just thinking about Le Ciel, and I don't know if I'm I, if what I shared with them and told them about what my needs are, I hope they're taking it in and realizing that in order to progress with what they propose to create, they need to, they need to, they need to invest a little. They can't just have it all come to them, that they're being guided and it all just comes to them because they have such a high and noble aim. We, we both know better that, that that's, that doesn't work that way. Yeah. You know, and I understand and I respect that where you were at with it and that you just want to get it going because to me, I see that as right now, probably the primary way that you and I and whoever else they're involving are going to do a community based, you know, which you've already kind of integrated into your online, you know, Weebly thing. <clears throat> so there's already a container for that. So, and I just wanted to include that into, cover all the four things you're talking about. Um, and so with it, yeah, with La Ciel, I've just kind of, I've let go of it. I, I put out what I had to put out. And as I learned from Wayne Dyer, when you put out your intention, you just let go of it. And if that's what's meant to be, you know, then that's what's meant to be. Um, so I have no real attachment to it. And um, I'm much more interested in finding the right community container that really will start to impact the world. Um, and has um, you know maybe already be is already doing so and intersects with what we're doing and and, and we really um, already have the you know the the engine and the, and the uh, vehicle running so we just need to get in and start you know helping navigate the course <laughs> of what kind of sites we're going to see along the way um, because I've, I'm just noticing in in my period of time you know of being with groups and, and that represent different communities and stuff. It's, you know, it's, 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 it's interesting. That's for sure. That's all I'll say about that. It's interesting. It's, it's all kind of half cocked and the ones that aren't half cocked are really not looking for, they're good. They're okay. They're kind of closed systems, whether they pretend that they aren't or not, they are because you know, they already know what they're doing. They're already, and they don't need, they're not asking for anything anyway. So, you know, so it's kind of interesting to crack into that. That's kind of the most nebulous, but it's also the most complex circle to step into, too. The, um, the community one, because there's so many moving parts. Yeah. I mean, and I like what you suggested about just like, um, just start offering, you know, uh, that would be a great place to start doing one-on-ones, you know? Um, because if they balk at the, the thing about, um, you know, the compensation, then I'll just say, look, why don't I just start offering one-on-ones with, you know, readings with you guys at 100 a pop and start getting people aligned to their design. And, and, and you guys can figure it out with Elijah and everybody else how you want to structure the whole big thing or however, because obviously everybody else maybe is okay with t doing that facilitation for three days and figuring out the structure. But in the meantime, I can start actually priming people into a new structure. And I can keep contact with you and whoever the other people are uh, in a, in a way more like this instead of a big three-day work facilitation thing if they can't swing that or don't want to you know what i mean well i mean i would support that i mean no matter what you know to me it's a team of 
approach and it just makes sense that each one of those people you know would have at least one session if not you know how many and, and that would get the ball rolling in a sense of yeah for you of your current situation we give you like a hundred a hundred people to start with and then that gets you going and then you know once that goes i mean to me the, <laughs> You're, you're gonna have a waiting list of ten thousand people. Like, yeah, it's, at some point, well, then it will have to shift, and then it, they'll have to be. Um, at that point, if it gets like that, I'll train people to do life code work and and and, and forget about human design and gene keys and all the freaking shit they make you go through. Just come yeah. to a dozen of my life code sessions, see how it works, and then get a little knowledgeable about the life codes, and you know, and then and then they can be people who can actually go out you know, and I'll do a percentage or whatever of whatever they do, and they can actually go out and start doing the life codes directly one-on-one, -on -one, and I can start focusing more on a bigger picture. Yeah, train the trainers. you, you yeah. got to find someone who's a train-the-trainer type of person. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've always been I've always been that naturally. <laughs> you know, yeah. train the trainers. Um, so, but anyway. I mean, yeah, and I mean, that would be my... Uh, suggest because what I see with La CL, like whoever they do bring in, I'm going to be the person who's seeing how all the pieces come together, all come last, and go, okay, that's them, that's them, that's them, that's them, that's this, okay, but Darmenda's doing this, and then you guys can do this. And I mean, I'm not attached to to anything other than you know we're we're going to build this structure here, and if yeah. you want to build this structure, fine, we're in. But if you're not, then we're going to go somewhere else. And right. Find some people who are. Yeah, and I'm just based on the kind of connections we've already started mingling in and, you know, connecting with. And Gino tells me you and him have something on Sunday, and I'm not available Sunday. So I, I hope that's working well for you, too. On Sunday? What do I have? Left? Didn't he introduce you to a group of, um, a whole other group of people that aren't really necessarily even spiritual, who uh, he said that need that? Or maybe that was, I don't know, maybe he even had a mistake and used your name and he met somebody else. I don't know. But I, but, but I, uh, he I, said, I jumped into a meeting with Gino where he had a great idea for uh, an arts thing and I, I could be what he's talking about. I mean, oh, okay. Again, again like there, there's so many, I find like right now, like we're, we're on this, we're on the precipice of potentiality where <laughs> mm -hmm. kind of like the world's, are, the whole world is going to come to us very soon going, Hey, can you help us? And we, and to me, it's it's, it's like, you know, we, we, we just have to sort of, uh, um, I guess, be prepared. Uh -huh. in a sense because I think both of us have been these unknown, obscure people that no one knows what we have. But as soon as the world knows what we have, there's going to be a lot of people who are going to be wanting our time. And yeah, so we'll be very careful about, uh -huh. you know. The type of lifestyle one i think for the originator like you like i have a certain lifestyle i want to live i don't want to be fucking living on my computer my entire life and i don't want to be you know yeah one-on-one -on -one sessions with people who are brain dead well that's why i say four hours a day because uh if i get to that point where i'm not glued you know to anyone's particular place my wife and i will be quickly moving from hell that is arizona uh, up to, up into washington state where her uh her daughter my stepdaughter and her best friend and her are going to be moving uh, within the next week or two to uh, to uh, Portland, which is where we've been wanting to move to for years now, but haven't been able to swing it. But once we're freed up of having to be in a certain place to work, because we, I do all do this all the time, and for four hours a day, then uh, and 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 then my wife and I just want to you know get in our truck, pull our fifth wheeler, and and go help out all kinds of vegan places when I'm not doing, you know, earning sure. earn, earning my livelihood. Because that's that's the other half of, of my life is is um, you know the real work of bringing peace to this planet in a real way, not just intellectual or energetic or knowledge wise, but you know in the foot in my footsteps through what I do. Yeah, and I think you know I'm I'm about to go on the road for the old world force. So again, I have to decide. Yeah, I, yeah. I want to do, and, and, uh, but we have to kind of take care of our monetary needs and. I, I see us all, like we're all living out of a laptop and I want to be mobile and, you know, same, just pop in, do my yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, ultimately you want to be able to maybe show up for a couple hours a day and just um, share your wisdom and that takes care of your life. I mean, that's ultimately 
how I see me and, and then the rest of my life is my life. You know? Yeah. I yeah. mean, I, I know that what I have now is worth that, but it's going to take some time to put that out there and make that obvious. <laughs> I already know I can do that just with the life codes alone, just with the discoursing on what I know with the, the life codes. For that sure. doesn't even touch, you know, other things that, because once those life codes are laid out, then it can be put in the Merkaba sacred geometry once that's laid out then you have a really conscious way of working with the periodic table of the angels you can create something that's just never been done before and i've already started to you know that and there was my big vision i just kind of opened it for a second for you but because uh, that's that's where it's going to go and, and that, that's what i already have access to and i have for since a long time it's just a matter of materializing it and all the piece, all the pieces fit together. One in like Russian dolls, one in the other, and they open and open and open. You know, that's what I've spent the last two and a half decades perfecting. In my own personal, that's what I, in my personal space, not the stuff I'm out there researching to figure out what everybody else is doing and how I make sure I don't want to replicate anybody else. I want to make sure what I have is absolutely original. I understand. And I also want to make sure I can speak a lot, most of the languages out there. So that was the other secondary reason for learning all those different transmissions. So I could translate what I do into any language, spiritually speaking, transmission language, not, you know, not country language. <laughs> maybe, um, maybe what, we, what I could do is uh, make you a promo video um that that start like whether Lassiel comes on board or not uh, uh -huh. we need a methodology to start bringing you customers uh -huh. and that's methodology is going to be a really good promo video we need to do that next meeting do i do that next meeting yeah you get it all set up and then uh and then you can do a several takes with me and use the best one or however you do it yeah okay so yeah. why don't we have the the next meeting is going to be figuring out the promo video for you yeah, because you'll have the rec you'll be recording, so you'll be able to take whatever you want out of it. Yeah. Um, can you? I, I think. Uh, can you be in a situation where you can create the this uh, change the background? I uh, I don't know if I um, have a. I don't think I have a scenario like that where I am. I mean, what do I need to be in front of a blank wall? Pretty much just a blank wall. Okay. Well, I could shift around to where there's a wall right over here in front of me. I can just move the stuff over a bit so it's just a blank wall and then these background screens work a little better yeah yeah because i have tons of really cool lands beautiful yeah. landscape scenes around the world and stuff like that that i'd love to put behind me that i i mean that's more what i like the down to earth but very beautiful exquisite nature kind of stuff that's okay know. so so how about next we'll aim it next week and we'll do several takes and and i'll take the the vids and I'll make a promo video for you and that'll be the beginning of you participating in the School of Conscious Communication as okay. a, a larger container for your school um, and well in other words it's the first step in promoting what I do in the world is, is that what you're yeah. wanting to do yeah and okay All right and that's just out of your love for me and what I share with you or do you well, want something out of that? What, do you, what is the deal well, there? I mean, the, the, there's... I mean, if it really starts cracking, I'm guessing you're going to want like 10% or something. Well, it's always nice to get a sales commission or something, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, and and the sort of shared knowledge community, it makes me think about, it. I got to put the numbers down. Let me, let me put together, I guess, a proposal for you. Yeah. And maybe you could also, in that proposal... Um, the things you'd like to see covered in this um, this promo, how long it is and how much time spent in each area, background, you know, skills, intent, vision, whatever, I don't know, however you do that. Okay. Because then that would help me to correspond my thinking to, you know, a structure that I can work with. To, okay. You know I, what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm Thursday, I'm on the road. I'm going down to Duncan to set up a command center, mm -hmm. and uh, on the weekend, probably Sunday night, I'll by I'm, I'm, let's let's aim by Sunday night. I'll have something for you. Okay. Well, any yeah. Okay. However you do that, yeah. So then we have a a, a way to just yeah. Good. So this this was a, a, a worth a 
a good meeting because uh, we've got a first step to um, yeah to to work on. And it, you know, and I, I just you know again in, in terms of exchange, you've given me a lot, and we were having a great exchange. And I think that's what happens between any originators. And I want to get back. And you know, again, you know the the money thing. I so once I feel complete in sharing with you, because that'll be other sessions where I can share with you other facets of my, so you can kind of get a picture of how it all fits together. And if by that time, you know, a lot of stuff is coming in, then we'll, we'll, we'll readjust, you know, the thing where maybe there's a, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just happy to, uh, to know you and to, uh, to be doing this with you. Okay. All right. And, and like I say, I want to, I want to make you as um, informed as possible with what I do, because I think you're capable of receiving, you know, pretty much everything I do. I mean, the only thing ultimately, um, I mean, there, there is that one piece that uh, you can't, you can't really make that happen though, would be the kind of like what I call transmission of the light that I, I hope pours from me into you because then you would literally be part of the lineage that I am and you would be a, you know, and then you would, you, and of course you would do whatever you want to do with it because it's not one, it's not the old way anymore where it's just Zen and you got to be a Zen. It's going to be Elijah, the, the, you know, the lineage bearer who received the light from this such and such a person because it was time for existence to put, and you'll know you'll know when that happens because <laughs> I, I won't even begin to try and describe it to you. But certain things happen that change everything. And um, I, I because I have a best friend who actually is he's over in San Diego now, but he's in a very concentrated environment where he's not at liberty to do a whole lot of interacting at the moment, at least not for quite a while. Um, and um, what I saw with him is he had uh, back at 25 years ago when I was running a internal martial arts school, Tai Chi school back east, and he was the healer guy. He was the certified, you know, body worker and all the other things he did. He had his certificates and I just had, you know, my decades of experience. And that's when I first uh, started to open up the periodic table of the angels and literally for nine months, we were immersed in that reality. And I tell you, it was, uh, it was, um, it was probably and probably will unless some things come in the future where I can open up it again in a bigger way. It was probably the most um, illuminated, continuously illuminated um, space I've yet experienced on this planet as a human being. And But funny enough, before that, just after I received the um, transmission of the light from existence itself through my mystical death and rebirth, there was a very indescribable experience there where I was brought into the presence of the sources of all creation and was given a, you know, a kind of darshan with each one, each at a different time and with no particular, there, it was completely informal. It just happened when it happened, each one. Um, and that's the thing, what I say when I want, that hopefully maybe it, there's, there's a way uh, that existence finds between you and us that, that space is opened. So that through me, it opens in you and you get to be touched by that because there, that is, you know, I don't know anybody else. Nobody's ever talked to me about having been touched in that way. But a lot of people I know have done some, something similar to the periodic table of the angels. And I know that you have that capacity. So uh, eventually I really want, if, if we can, because this would be so much of the way I can I can repay you for all that you're going to be doing, is to turn you on to that those macro dimensions, because that will open you in ways you can't imagine. And eventually, if it's in your lifetime to have that happen, to be prepared for the pouring of the grace of the source. And so that and that officially makes you a lineage bearer of the school, you know, the school of awakening on this planet. So that's my intent with you. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Osho is, I mean, I don't know if it came from Osho, but uh, he's, he's, he's been the one that I guess had the most impact on me. Yeah. Book, so I'm, I'm, I, I would be fully open to any trip. Yeah. Well, I, I am that energy. I am that because um, he made it very clear that it wasn't going to be any one person, but if you get him, you get it. 
you got it. And it's not that you just decide that there are things that happen to you. And it took me four years after he left the world, um, you know, before that happened. And it was very clear when it happened, there was his presence. It was clear, uh, you know, and then, uh, so it was connected. I, it was just a delayed response on my part, I guess you could say. You know, it took four years for what it, his last look did something to me. The last time I physically saw him, he looked at me. He gazed at me. It was a gaze, not just a look. And he speaks about all those things. There's certain, you know, imports that happen. I mean, and it's obvious because you can record that kind of stuff. And it's happened to other people in life. So there's always a way to measure the different actions of of lineage bears and, and, and the reason they do certain things at certain times and they have certain terms connected with them. So all this stuff is very precise. And, uh, that's just stuff I wanted to share with you that I guess is also part of all of this structuring of what I'm going to do, you know, and that's more about with you specifically. But, uh, you know, so, so soon after, after we, uh, I guess the biggest thing right now is to get me laid out so I can start facilitating my own livelihood in a way that's much more in line with who I am. But then as that goes, there's going to be a lot of joy that I'm going to need to express. And you'll be one of the primary recipients that I want to um, take you through as much as we can of the periodic table of angels, because you will, I tell you, it's just, there's no way to, to preview that. You'll, you'll, you'll just, and every time it's absolute blow mind. It's absolute. I can't believe. Wow. Kind of stuff, you know, and there will be a space for for us to do that. And who knows? I mean, it might even evolve that there's you and I and some other people we feel, you know, that can receive that. And that would only be because our work needs us to, us to have those people so that they can perform. You know, it would be out of necessity. In other words, um, otherwise it, it would. I'm sure in the beginning it might probably be more you know like some of these meetings i see in the future with you and i we're going to start opening that you know that's what i want to do with you because i can see you've already received you've already been to to my weekly um you know zenergy which is kind of the, the groundwork for preparing your genetics to handle that you know because there's either two ways you do it either you do internal martial arts or some kind of awareness energy building discipline so you can handle that higher force or you really get to know your design so you're perfectly aligned with it so when it comes through nothing slips because at that level of frequency transmission if something slips something's going to break <laughs> and you don't want that so you want to be really aligned either through knowledge or through practice <clears throat> you know okay. so that's just a little bit of that um you know kind of naturally evolved out of what we're doing. And then you see, this is this is what it is to meet me. It always goes where, who knows where it's gonna go, right? Um, we started out in one place and and, and uh, we, we kept on the track the whole way through, but a lot of other elements and dimensions came through and um, we became a lot lighter and more expansive in the process, <laughs> you know? So, so it's always fun and I, I love to, um, I love to bring the practical in because it makes that a lighter and more expansive space so much more um, apparent and um, tangible and um, transmittable and um, containable. <laughs> you know? That we, We're not just up there flying around, but we're doing it because of the things we set up in this meeting to get to that place. So that's how it all kinds of, that's how it all the realities kind of stack up and how I'd like to lay it all out. You know, sounds good to me. <laughs> and I know, and I know you, you, you received it all right here with me. Um, yeah. And, and we're done a four minutes early. I mean, I feel complete. So I'm good. I'm good. So uh, <laughs> I look forward to next week, Thursday. I'm, I'm probably going to be, Oh no, I might not. I'll be on the road. I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Thursday. Yeah. 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 But, but Tuesday you're going to be okay. And just let, let me know if there's two day, Tuesdays where you're going to be gapping, if you're if that's going to be happening coming up soon. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, no, I, I'll do my best to always keep to it. Unless yeah. I'm well, I understand because you've already warned me. So, you know, that's up to you. Um, but uh, as far as far as I, I'm, I, I think we're going to have, a, it's going to be very fruitful for us to have these weekly moments, you know, 
and I think they're just going to get uh, more and more uh, di diversifyingly, multi-dimensionally interesting. <laughs> so, as we as we uh, grow together, <clears throat> in terms of our reach in, into the world, is what we're capable of transmitting. Right here, then, sir. <laughs> All right. Have a great week. Yeah. You too. Yeah, and I guess if I don't see you until, uh, you don't know if you'll be around Thursday or not. So we'll, at the very least, next Tuesday. <laughs> very good. Very good. Yes. Bye, Elijah. Okay. Bye.